Well, hello. Welcome back to the channel. You're watching Anything and Everything. I'm Frida. Today we're going to do some crocheted butterflies. Here's a, a couple of the butterflies that I've made. I'm using a five millimeter H um, crochet hook. That looks like that. I've got some black and yellow yarn here. I've got my pipe cleaner and I just bought the pipe cleaner at a dollar store. There's different colors that you can get. Um, I have my, my scissors handy and my darning needles, which I'll, I'll need. And uh, yeah, so let's get started. I'm just adjusting the camera here so that you can see what I'm doing. I'm just going to move you just a little bit closer and hopefully you can you can see exactly what I'm doing here so to start I'm going to start with the yellow because we're going to make this one right here and to start we're just doing our loop like that basically just making a knot looping it through this is the way I usually start my crocheting may not be the right way but it's it's the way I do it and put my crochet hook through there and I'm going to chain five and to chain you just I loop the yarn around my fingers like that and you just pull the yarn through so there's one two three four and five and then I'm just going to attach it to the other end just put my my crochet hook through the first one I did so I'm like that and I'm just going to pull the yarn through both I'm just going to tighten that just a little bit okay so now what we're going to do we're going to chain two because we're doing double crochets so I chain two, I'm going to loop the yarn around my crochet hook and I'm going to go through the center of my, of my circle. Okay, so I've looped the yarn around, I'm going through the center, I'm going to hook the yarn from behind, Whoop. try to get all of the yarn, so I'm like that. I'm going to pull the yarn through the first two and then through the second two, just like that. And that's a double crochet. I'm going to do another one of those. Okay, so now I've got three. I got my first uh, one that I chained two and then I did two double crochets. Now I'm going to do one chain and then I'm going to do three double crochets again. And they're all going through that center of my circle. And what I'm doing at the same time is my uh, tail that I started with I'm going over top of that so I'm actually incorporating that in the double crochets and finishing that off okay so I've done another three I'm gonna do a chain because we're doing groups of three and we're gonna do eight groups of three so I've got two groups right now whoops Start that one over. There's another three. We're going to do a chain. 
Just do one chain between each group of three. Okay, I'm just going to count to see how many groups I've got. I've got five groups so far. I need to make a little bit of room, so just feel, just slide them along like that so you have some space to make some more. So I've got five, so I need to three more. So I'm just going to cut this piece of tail off so I don't have to deal with that anymore. Slide it along a little bit, give us some room. Got two more to do. Okay, I'm just going to double check how many I have because it is getting a little crowded. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One more set to do. Move it along a little bit. I did my chain. Okay, chain one, and then we're going to loop through that first chain we did where we chain two. We're going to loop through that gap between the two chains. And we're just going to, just like this, we're not going to put any yarn around our crochet hook. We're just going to go through, pull the thread, the yarn through and through, just like that. Okay, I've got a bit of a bulge here, so I'm going to go back and redo that one because I don't know what I did there. I'm not liking how that's looking. So let's go back. Do our chain one. That looks better. Okay, chain one, and then we're going to loop it through like that. Okay. So there's the start of our butterfly. Okay, and then for this next row, we're going to chain three to start. So we're going to do one, two, three. Now the reason we're doing three, we're doing two for our double crochet. But because this is actually going to end up the end of a group of three, I want to have that chain in between my groups. Okay, so now we're going to skip over here 
we're going to go past two chains and we're going to go into this opening here past the second chain we're going to loop our yarn around do a double crochet it's all double crochets okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to do eight double groups with a chain in between so that was one So that's three, chain one, and then in the same opening, we're going to do another group of three. Chain one. Okay, now we're going to skip three chains. One, two, three. I'm going to go in the next opening and if you'll remember where we're going in is where we did that chain one in between our groups in the previous row so that's where we're going in that opening again we're going to do two groups of three in here with a chain in between Skip three, go into the next opening. You can use a smaller crochet hook if you want, if you want a smaller butterfly. If we did another two, a group of two, I'm going to go into the next, skip three, go into that opening. And a chain in between each group of three, don't forget. Springtime, you start thinking about butterflies. You can make them in whatever color you want. Mix and match. Use different type of yarn and that'll create different sizes as well. This is just leftover yarn I've had from doing other projects. And these are so easy to make. I sometimes take this with me and if I'm waiting for a doctor's appointment, I'll, I'll do some. you can usually figure out where you left off so if you do get cold in the middle of doing one you know where to pick up again there's not a lot of counting just that first row you want to make sure you have your eight groups otherwise you run into trouble Okay, so now we're getting to our last group. So I'm skipping three, going in there. So 
doing my first group of three. Chain one, and now I'm only going to do two double crochets because I have that original chain. Okay, and then to attach it, you just loop through that chain, pull your yarn through, and that connects it to your other group. So what you can do at this point, if you want to have a small butterfly, you can leave it like that, which is what I did on this one here. I left it like that and then put my body and antenna on there. Or you can keep going and make it like this one here. As you can see, they're reversible. So let's keep going and I'll show you how to make this one here. But yeah, if you want a smaller one, uh, these look pretty too. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to take that last stitch out that I did where I looped it through because I'm going to change color here. I'm going to add my black in and the way I add it in, I do my loop. You may know a different way to do it and by all means do it the way that you're used to doing. So I'm going to go back through my yellow. Where'd my yarn go? Through my yellow. Now I have my black loop. So I'm going to go through my chain here. I'm going to hook onto my black. I'm going to pull it through and through my yellow like that. And what I do on the back now, I'm going to cut my, my yellow because we're done with it. Leave a tail so you can uh, work that into your yarn. And then just to make it solid, I get my two tails and I just tie a knot in there. And then I don't have to fight with it. And we'll finish those two tails off after. So now we're going to work with the black yarn. And we're going to chain two. And then we're going to do skip three. And then we're going to do five double crochets in that next opening. So loop your yarn around. I'm going to do five double crochets. Okay, and then skip three. In the next one, we're doing one double crochet. Loop your yarn around, one double crochet. Okay, skip three, and we're doing five. Skip three, doing one double crochet. We're going to alternate like that all the way around. Okay. 
It's a beautiful day here today. We had a, a few days where it got really cold and it tried to snow, but the snow only lasted for a couple of hours and it was gone again. Our golf course opens tomorrow, which is about a month ahead of schedule. Unfortunately, Roy's not in shape to go golfing yet. He's still working on his physio to get his hip back in shape. These are really easy to make. Getting near the end here. Whoops, lost my yarn. Like I said, you can make whatever size you want um, using whatever yarn you want and crochet hook. Different crochet hooks will make different sizes. Okay, so I did my last group of five. I have my single double crochet here that I'm going to loop into going to try to loop into and just pull that through like that. I'm going to cut my yarn and I'm going to pull that all the way through. Okay, then we're going to go to the back side. We're done with our crochet hook for now. Get our darning needle. It's a, a dull ended needle. And we're going to get rid of these tails, just incorporate them into our, our crochet. So I'm just going to loop through the back of a stitch here. We're doing this on the back of the butterfly, so none of this will show. Just looping through the back here, and then I'm going to go through my, my group of five. I'm just going through the, the back of the base of them. Cut it nice and short. And we're going to do that with the other two tails as well. Just loop through the back of our, our black yarn there. Go 
going through a couple more. And I'm going to take this one over the other way. Looping through the back. And then I'm going to go through that back of that group of five. Cut it nice and short. As close to my butterfly without cutting any other yarn. Get my yellow one here. Yellow one, I'm going to go down the other way through my yellow, just through the back of some of these stitches. I'm going to go through my my group of double crochets just through the base like that and we're going to cut that one nice and short as well okay we're done with our our darning needle so that's the back side of the butterfly so you just flip it like that and you have your your butterfly looks like that both sides now we're going to do the body out of the pipe cleaner so I've got my pipe cleaner I'm using black so you just figure out how long you want your antenna oh that looks about right and then I'm just going to loop the pipe cleaner around the body like that and I'm just going to twist it at the top a couple times. Okay, and then just kind of measure. Cut your pipe cleaner. Like that. Uh, just kind of shape your antenna. And then I loop the ends around like that. I just take the end and just twist it with my, my thumb like that. And there you have your butterfly. Very easy to make. So we've got two of these guys. We've got the one where we didn't do the last row on it. Like I said, you can do it in different colors. Here I did the black body and then the yellow on the outside. Um, here I did a, a blue one. You can make them into fridge magnets. You can buy a, a magnetic, a roll of magnetic tape or a roll of magnet I don't know what you call it. I guess it's magnetic tape and they can just glue it onto the back and stick it on your fridge if you do that I would suggest you use a glue gun to put the magnetic tape on the back because the adhesive that's on the magnetic tape isn't the best so I would use a glue gun to put these on just to make sure they stay and yeah they look pretty as a, a fridge decoration Here's a, a different color again. It's kind of a, a rusty orange with the black. And this looks pretty with the reverse color too with the black body and the orange on the outside. And I've got the magnetic tape on the back of that as well. Uh, what you can do with the butterflies, if you make the, the smaller ones and use a smaller crochet hook, um, you could uh, um, glue them onto a barrette and uh, use them as a hair accessory. Um, uh, the, what I do with my butterflies is I uh, put a, a post on them and I put them in my flower decorations and I'll post a couple of pictures of that, of, of how I do that. And I also use them in other um, ornaments that are are on the the counter or whatever you just kind of can just set them up 
against it and you can do whatever you want with them. You know, like they, they look pretty, whatever you do with them. Um, use your imagination. Um, there's no set rule as to what you have to use them for. Just, uh, this is what I use them for. I, I, uh, uh just adjusting the camera so you can see me again. I use them for fridge magnets or um, to uh, adorn my flower arrangements. And uh, I will post pictures, like I said. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, it was just a quick one. And thank you for watching. And uh, thank you to all of our, our subscribers. And welcome to all of our new subscribers. And uh, we hope you stay tuned for more videos. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.